Hello, my dear Taurus. This is a reading about what the person most on your mind would want to happen between you two with me, Queen of Cups Tarot. Now read in the order of birthdays and as an extended member to this channel, you will get these readings ahead of time and with no ads. And there's all signs reading up. What is the good thing coming my way for the full members to this channel? And what is it that the divine want to protect me from right now is up for all the members to the channel. Subscribe and check out the many perks through the join button that will appear or follow the link in the description box to learn more about membership. Now use the steampunk tarot with Barbara Moore and I will start reading your cards. When I open your deck here, I see the Ace of Swords together with Queen of Swords. Uh, so this person feels very judged by you as if you have seen right through them and but they are not uh, entirely sure of your verdict just yet. Certain things make them feel as if you love them. Other things make you feel them feel as you despise them. Okay, I call the divine with love and light. And here we have the Eight of Cups, also the King of Swords wanted to show its face, uh, together with the Queen of Swords. So you have grown tired of your King of Swords here. Uh, there has been many cycles uh, through this relationship where they might have acted cold or callous or as if they were uh, special or were supposed to be treated special. Okay. So you seem to have gotten tired of this. Uh, I call the four archangels in the four corners of the world. And we can see that you have grown uh, your own self-sufficientness. You have started to put more effort into taking care of yourself. Instead of getting your needs met by your partner or this friend or this family member. Um, you are getting your needs met by yourself. And maybe you are planning to. Uh, meet someone else or find someone to replace this person in your life. I call the six elements and here we have the nine of wands and the queen of swords. At least this is what this person's fear fears are because this is um, uh, what the person most on your mind would want to happen. So we are kind of in their psyche looking at how they are viewing you. And they are viewing you as a person that has grown tired of um, a certain behavior of theirs that they have displayed over and over again. Even though they kind of knew that it was going to end like this or that they were playing with fire. Uh, and now uh, they feel as if they have pushed you over the edge uh, and maybe into another person's arms. So we can see that they are kind of spying on you there. Okay, but they can't admit uh, to their wrongdoings, uh, obviously. So, six elements. Earth, wind, fire, water, spirit and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear Taurus viewers. So, I want my dear Taurus to have love in their life and to find themselves in loving relationships. I also want you to have creative success and to be able to <laughs> to follow your highest path towards your highest destiny okay so it was done there to my surprise i will just tune in for a few seconds here to you the person most on your mind and what this person would want to happen between you two This is um, this person's most likely action, but also the evolution of the relationship. And this is what they would want to have happened. We saw the nine of wands. Uh, I felt they were very nervous for um, that they have pushed you over the edge and possibly into someone else's arms or you losing loyalty towards them and gaining loyalty somewhere else. Uh, and they wish to prevent this by uh, communicating with you in such a way that um, they can win you back. Uh, on their side okay and this is their most likely action and we have the queen of swords here with the judgment uh, so uh, basically i'm just seeing them being kind of very scared of your judgment judgment queen of swords 
uh, and these are them kind of shivering underneath the, the wrath of your <laughs> armies here. Okay, interesting. So this is this person's intentions and we have the five of pentacles. I definitely feel like they have been playing a game of who has, uh, um, who is going to own being the person that's least liked, least cherished, least respected. I feel like this person has not the best self-esteem. Entering the relationship with you, they were trying to push this feeling over to you. So by saying that maybe you weren't entirely worthy of their love, maybe they were cold towards you because you weren't attractive enough or uh, you want maybe the partner for them or they haven't entirely chosen you. Uh, but this is um, uh, their own uh, feelings of um, uh, shame and humility. And frankly, they disrespect themselves and they have tried to displace this feeling onto you by making you feel unworthy. Uh, this seems to be uh, one of their uh, subconscious life goals. I don't think any person, they might have, have it, had it a little bit as a conscious goal. Uh, let's say they feel um, like self-enhanced and feeling like they're entitled to criticize, criticize other people, um, to kind of uh, tell them that maybe they are not the best bargain, but I have to you know, I needed to settle with you or um, maybe if you could, you know, uh, maybe you could earn more money or become more beautiful and then I could love you more. Uh, here we see the two of swords. Two of swords is Libra as is uh, the queen of swords. You might have been dealt, dealing with the Libra or another air sign, Aquarius, Gemini. Um, a person that's... Um, playing with communication in a way that makes them seem uh, as the uh, eligible one, like the one that everyone desires and you are the one kind of poor Cinderella that they just um, accepted uh, into their, uh, their arms out of charity or into their life out of charity. Uh, the Two of Swords probably shows that this person has a disconnected emotional life, but I'm going to clarify this with the Lover's Oracle. Karmic relationship. So they're very triggered by this uh, relationship. There might be a um, uh, push and pull, tug back and forth between you uh, through uh, many, many lifetimes. Um, I'm feeling a, a situation where they might have tried to make themselves free of the love for you uh, for many lifetimes. I don't know why uh, I don't have the full story with just these two cards, but uh, I'm feeling like there's um, a self-interest in pretending like you are not good enough or they don't want you. They might have said no to you or... Um, maybe degraded you, maybe made a marriage proposal in a previous lifetime just to take it back or uh, to humiliate you in some way. And I feel like it was a lot of pain and anger that made this person act like this, but I don't think it was your fault. I feel again like some kind of displacement of anger and bitterness. And I don't understand the whole story here. Um... Maybe it can be that this person has been uh, treated um, in a way that was um, um, that made them feel disgraced uh, by their family, um, by their tribe in some way that they weren't good enough and they find found an escape goat in you in some way. This is how they view you, Ten of Swords, so the scapegoat, the one that we sacrifice to... Uh, make ourselves look good or to make ourselves come out scot-free from a situation. So they know that they have treated you badly uh, in many ways, but rather you than them. Um, this doesn't look like a romantic relationship when we look at it like this, but this is the deepest essence of a relationship, either romantic or it can be a... a father to a son or it can be uh, co-workers acting like this towards each other trying to prove who is the best who's the most worthy and maybe trying to degrade the other person 
and it comes out of a place that where we think um, nothing is enough or that I'm not enough or that I can't be enough for other people. So we need to compete about the one place, the one person that's um, kind of held in high esteem and say, you are enough, but this person, they are not enough. So they feel like there's a scarcity and that they need to elbow themselves to the place where people will see them as enough. So we can see this in love. That's usually one person that is more into the relationship than the other, calls more, gives more present or gifts or gives of their time or being more available. Uh, and the other person might feel as a winner in this situation that um, they um, are not showing the same hostility or uh, inviting the other person in the same way or calling them in the same way. So it's as if they are actually kind of stealing uh, love from them in a way because um, they look like the person that doesn't care and the other person is the sucker that cares. Uh, so this is the energy I'm getting from this. This is how they view the relationship and it's the hero font. So it shows family, tribe. Uh, maybe this is how they treat people in their family. Um, I'm not sure, but the hero font shows that this person uh, probably wants this kind of dynamic to go on into the future. That's why they're so scared of you uh, kind of feeling like to hell with this. I want to be with someone that treats me better uh, because they want to keep this dynamic so they can continue making you be the person that's not getting what you need while they are the person that gets what they need because in their culture, the culture can be different even if we live on the same street, even in the same family sometimes. But in their culture, there needs to be a winner and a loser. And they have decided that they should be the winner and they're trying to make you the loser. So this is what they would want to have happen. Queen of Pentacles. So again, I'm getting a marriage card. So they would want to keep you chained uh, to them forever. Uh, I am sure uh, they would want you to stay with them so they can continue this dynamic for a very long time. With the Ten of Swords uh, now, um, it's always deeper and deeper layers to these cards. I also feel that you might have left them, uh, which kind of ended uh, them having you as this supply, uh, making it's like you have made them into being this special person by. Uh, allowing them to make you less than special in their life that they by you allowing them to disrespect you uh, you gave them respect uh, by you allowing them to not give you the time of day and you gave them the time of day you make them feel special and valued and um, like a good option like a, a person that people would want uh, even if they are treated badly uh, so with the Eight of Wands, uh, I felt like they want to get you back into uh, this dynamic and possibly offer you maybe um, maybe I'll offer you a ring or offer you some kind of deal if this is a business partner or if it's a family uh, situation. They might um, if this is a part a romantic partner, they might say, okay, we can engage, we can marry, we can move in together because. Uh, as a forgiveness for what they have done in the past that made you feel like the Eight of Cups and the um, Queen of Swords walking, uh, walking away from the situation and possibly being uh, interested in, in, in moving on with your life. So uh, the most likely action, Six of Pentacles, trying to make things right on the surface at least so they can uh, get you back uh, on their uh, <laughs> getting back on your good side uh, so they can continue the dynamic uh, between you two uh, so making compromises acting like a friend trying to be nice five of pentacles six of pentacles seem to need you to uh, fulfill themselves in the end uh, they will still still be the same person uh, that's not uh, really emotionally engaged in this relationship it's more what you can give them than what they feel uh, they try to have a closed heart we can see this person closing their heart chakra um, so they don't want to risk themselves in this relationship 
but wedding rings might be offered as I told you here but uh, I'm very sure that they won't offer you uh, their heart or, or their love uh, so you will just feel like you're shackled to someone uh, that doesn't really love you uh, here we have the hermit and I feel that's your feeling it's almost like <laughs> your ghost has left your body and you're looking at this situation from a new dimension another perspective uh, so whatever they did you here was probably the last straw uh, that made you feel like enough is enough and you see this person in a new light now both the queen of swords and, and the hermit has very little um little make very few excuses for other people and they see right through them and here we have the fool uh, together with the six of swords fool and six of swords well if you are the fool to them there will be a continuation of the relationship six of pentacles six of swords both connected to the lovers card um, and uh, they will try to solve things with you in a way that um, maybe compromise in a way that can make you stay in the relationship but I'm also getting um, um, a possibility of you actually starting a new relationship with with someone else so clarify the hermit here to begin with hand of cards you're seeing through their hand of cards you're seeing through what they have been what the uh, game has been all about anyways and uh, what is it that they're offering to you here? Heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving and mourning. So this compromise is not going to lead to anything good in the end. It might be a good time for a while, but eventually you're going to end up in the same way, heartbroken. Mirror, mirroring each other, self-image, relationship, reflect our wounds. Uh, so why have you allowed this person to degrade you? Didn't you think you were worthy of more? Uh, so this is the big question you need to start asking yourself. I saw that you already have done some work with the nine of uh, pentacles, starting to fulfill your own needs. That's a, a good start in making yourself uh, feel more worthy and feel more loved, at least by you having your own back and not putting up with bullshit. Uh, this will help you to um, lift up your own self-esteem so you won't be letting, allowing someone treat you like this again. And that will lead to happiness because uh, when we don't allow BS, we can start to allow good things in our life. So I want to clarify the five of pentacles. And we have the queen of cups. So they're basically exploiting your love letting you stand on the outside banging their door and hoping to get in because you love them so much and it feels very good for them that you love them so that you allow them to dismiss you clarify how they feel knight of wands it's um, with this constellation of cards that we have here it's a little bit narcissistic energy to this knight of wands uh, where a person is just using uh, the f your feelings in the relationship uh, to make things uh, in the way that they want. Uh, so um, basically using and manipulating you, not having really deep feelings. It's very egocentric, this two of swords, knight of wands energy. But it comes from a broken heart. They just don't want their heart to be broken, better yours being broken. This is how they view you, uh, the world card. So we see that there's a, a deeper famili familiarity in this relationship. You have known each other multiple lives before and, and danced this dance before. Probably as soon as they saw you, um, subconsciously they remembered and they felt like, oh, this person, uh, this person I can use uh, to suit my soul and to uh, limit my pain and you probably felt like, oh, that's the person I have loved and lost so many times. A familiarity can sometimes be a burden. Uh, we feel it's familiar, but what's familiar isn't always what's best for us. So here we have the family. So clarify this, uh, how they view the relationship. And we have the chariot. So they want it to continue, but they want them to be in control over this relationship. And you being like... The disciple at their feet here 
allowing them to rule the show. As this person is steering these two dragons. But you are a dragon. Uh, you don't have to uh, allow them to do this. But it's your own dream and your own heart and your own love. Uh, that's making you sacrifice yourself for this relationship. And it's a beautiful thing that you love like this. But um, you kind of need to reprogram yourself with self-love and self-respect. So that you will understand that you don't need to give your love to what's familiar. You can give your love to someone that actually deserves it. So clarify uh, uh, what they would want to have happen we have a three of wands, so it's basically their master plan to continue. Uh, so reassuring that uh, by maybe going into an agreement uh, with you. The three of wands is like a negotiation of making you steady supply there. Clarify the six of pentacles, what they would want to have happen. Page of swords. Um, they are merely just a child that wants to protect themselves on the top of this tower from uh, becoming hurt by others. Um, and they're using you as a pawn in this game. Um, you're also kind of, they see you as a person on the outside of them. And every person on the outside of them is the enemy. Clarify the four of cups. And we have the hermit. So hermit, hermit. Um, it shows that they were already this ghost that they kind of made you into. Now you also see the world in this um, clear, but uh, um, also stripped away from dreams, but seeing like right through all people. This person have had this perspective, but it it is what made them... Uh, this callous person because they didn't believe in love they didn't believe that any anything could be nice and beautiful and no one could trust anyone else um, for you I think it's about taking in your shadow so taking in the side to you that's are more judgmental and doesn't believe uh, all fairy tales but also that have hope of love uh, in your heart and able to give your love to someone I think they are a little bit more one-sided that they have only this perspective of being very judgmental and thinking that the world is a horrible place with horrible people. Now you understand that maybe this person that you loved so much is also in some way a horrible person, but it, it doesn't strip you of your whole, uh, the wider perspective that there's also love in the world. But they have this one perspective and they now gave it to you. It's actually a gift even if it doesn't feel like it, because now you can take yourself out of this karmic cycle uh, of loving what's familiar and blinding yourself to their true behavior towards you. Clarify the hermit. And we have the seven of cups. Um, you have probably been programmed to love people like this. You have had several people in your life that have behaved like this. And therefore you think that this is how love should feel. The more pain the person gives you, the more love you feel, the more attached you get to them. Uh, this is something that you need to put a lot of effort into healing. First by loving and honor yourself. But you might also want to seek out therapy. Or also doing different methods to heal yourself in the depths. Uh, for example... Uh, taking five minutes every day to stay with your pain and uh, localize with your pain and sending a lot of love uh, to your pain. Your attention is love. When you ignore your pain, it grows in the darkness and it hungers and it wants um, uh, like what a child wants. Let's say that a child is abused by their parent. They will still have this unconditional love towards their parent and want them to come back and be nice. And that's kind of what I'm seeing for you as well. Uh, that this are uh, the wound that led you to end up in this situation. Let's clarify the fool. What's the possibilities here? Six of cups. So uh, six, six, six. I feel like this is uh, this person reconciling with you. But there's also a possibility of second chances. You healing your childhood. So there's two alternative roads here. You reconcile with this person for another go at this. Same old, same old. Or you start the big healing journey where the adult you helps to heal your inner child and give it the love that it never got and the security and the 
respect uh, that you so much needed. Clarify the Six of Swords. Six of Swords. So it's up to you to decide how you want to solve this situation, what choices you want to make. Every choice you make, even if it is going back to this situation and doing it all over, uh, will bring the solution one day. You will get wiser and wiser for every lap at this um, karmic situation. And it will one day you will just have an allergic reaction to the whole situation and just walk away because then you have learned everything that there is to learn from this situation and you won't love this person anymore. Uh, but you can also choose uh, to actually end it now, maybe with still love in this person for your heart, but choosing to give this love to yourself and freeing yourself. And by freeing yourself, you also free the people around you that's in the same boat as you, doing the same thing, uh, bending their head for the same people, letting other people use them and abuse them uh, in the name of love. Uh, so it's up to you and neither uh, of your choices is wrong. I'm going to take a card from the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms to see what the Divine would want to uh, advise you here. Flow, letting go, natural movement, 36. The River Queen. The River Queen flows into your life as an ally to remind you about the concept of allowing and the law of non-attachment. Remember that all rivers come from the mountains and run to the sea to be absorbed by the larger body of water. I think we are having the six of swords here. There the liquid evaporates into clouds that drain on the mountains to continue an endless cycle of fluidity. So both karmic relationships, but also your longer journey as a soul in the bigger perspective. The River Queen requires you to be fluid and to let go of rigidity and perfectionism. You will travel far as long as you let go and let flow. So perfectionists can, for example, be that denying what is and saying this isn't how it should be and want to make the situation perfect. Um, that might not be possible uh, at this point in time uh, because uh, both you and your partner have too deep of a wounds uh, to be able to love each other from a place of clarity. You will uh, return to the subconscious and reenact your dramas over and over again. And by that, also hurting each other over and over again. Uh, you will travel far as long as you let go and let flow, even maneuvering around the greatest blockage like water streams around big boulders. For example, not engaging in this relationship anymore and then the problem is gone. You will still have the longing for this person in the heart, but you can let that go down the river again and again. Every time you think of this person, you say, okay, yes, I still love you, but our relationship wasn't, uh, it wasn't healthy and I let you go. And you can see this person for your inner mind going down the stream. So doing this uh, even 50 or 100 times a day is going to help you to uh, let go and move on first three days you might still think of the person but then suddenly you will realize oh i'm no longer thinking about the person of course then you're thinking about the person but it's just continue this exercise and uh, and in the same time do great things for yourself take care of yourself support yourself make your own life worth living even without this person even if it right now it might feel like uh, they are the thing that makes uh, life worth living but it isn't like that it's just what's familiar and that you're aiming towards creating perfection out of a non-perfect situation you're trying to mend it it's beautiful that you're trying to mend it but there needs to be two uh, to make this happen and the other person isn't on board as of now maybe they will be at a later state stage no obstacle can hold you back now if you're willing to surrender the natural flow of events. Be easy on yourself and others and watch how smoothly you move forward. You may be surprised where the river takes you. So I would uh, urge you to study, uh, continue study and uh, 
uh, watching the love readings for September or what do they want to happen reading from previous month uh, to get more information about this situation and this relationship. On the end screen you will see a link to this reading so go and check it out. You can also order an almost personal reading from me with the topics will they come back, what do they feel or future love. You can find more information in the description box of this video or visit my webpage queenofcupstarot.se where you can also order personal readings and sessions. And to get weekly premium content readings from me, join as a member to my channel. Thank you for watching this far. Remember to like and share this video to support the channel and hit the bell notification on your way out to get the updates when the next video is up. Until then, stay blessed and bye for now.